Almost 500 years after his death, the remains of the father of modern astronomy, Nicholas Copernicus, are at last taken towards their final resting place. The end of a detective story that began in 2005, when the Polish mathematician's grave was rediscovered here at the Cathedral of Frombok. Copernicus had been a canon in this cathedral. After their death, each canon was buried at the foot of one of the 16 altars that they looked after. In all, 15 skeletons were found, but which one belonged to the man who was the first to go against theories adopted by the church and suggest that the Earth was not at the centre of the universe. One clue was his age. Copernicus lived to 70, a rarity in the 16th century. We found two septuagenarians. One of them was buried in the 18th century, so it couldn't have been Copernicus. The other was from the 16th century, the time when Copernicus lived and died. Using the skull, experts were then able to create a picture of what Copernicus may have looked like. But it was only a stroke of luck that led to a positive ID. A researcher at Sweden's University of Uppsala came across an old book that once belonged to Copernicus. And that's where he discovered the final piece of the puzzle. I just opened the book and uh, in the middle of the book I saw immediately a hair. We find nine hairs and two of them matched perfectly the DNA taken from a, a tooth. Copernicus is buried for a second time in the same place where he was discovered. This time though the grave is marked, identified by a combination of science and fortune of which the early astronomer would surely have been proud.